Hi and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can insert a logo into your document or letter. I'm going to show you two ways to do this with different results and then I'm also going to show you how you can save this as a template so that you can use it over and over again. So if you've just written out a letter and it's one page and you just want to put your logo at the top here, simply go to insert pictures, click on the drop down and then you select picture from file. Then just select your logo. I'm going to select this one here and then click insert. Now when you insert your logo, you won't be able to move it. You will be able to resize it, but you won't be able to move it. So select the logo, go to picture format, go to wrap text, click on the drop down and select in front of text. Then you can resize your logo and you can place it anywhere you like. Most of the time you'll want to line it up with your margin, which you can see here is the edge of your text. So once you've done that, you can go ahead and just print that out or you can save it as a Word document or a PDF file. If you need to save it as a PDF file, go to File, Save As, then click on File Format and go down to PDF. Sorry, it's just at the edge of my screen and there's PDF on that drop down, and then click Save. Now, the downside with just inserting your logo like this is that if I go onto a second page, my cursor is at the bottom here, and I'm just going to insert a page break. And if I just view this multiple pages, you can see that my logo hasn't moved to the second page. Now clearly you can copy and paste it, but it won't always be in exactly the same position. So if you want your logo onto both pages, then select your logo, then you can copy it, go to the home tab and press copy. And then I'm just going to press the delete key. Now you need to enter your headers and footers. So there's two ways to do this. You can go to the top of your page and double click. You can see we're in the headers and footers or go to insert and you can click on either header or footer, click on the drop down and go to edit header. So now you can tell we're in the headers and footers because you've got these little tabs and then you can either, if you haven't copied your logo like I have, you can just go back at insert, pictures, picture from file, select your logo again and then click insert and then you'll have to go back through all of the different aspects that we went through all earlier with the wrapping or just go to home and click paste and you can paste your logo in here and then you can move it round wherever you want it. Once you're happy, just double click anywhere into the middle of your page and you can see your logo has been inserted. Now your logo will be greyed out and that's to identify those elements that are in the headers and footers and those elements that are in the main body of the letter or document. So if I go down to the bottom here again, go up to insert and click page break, you can see your logo has now been copied over to the second page. And that will happen for subsequent pages if you want it on the third, fourth, fifth, and so on. Now your logo won't be greyed out if you save this as a PDF file, which in most cases people would like to do with a letter, or when it's printed out, it'd be absolutely fine. Now, once you're happy with all of this and you want to save this so that you can use this template over and over again, just go to File, go to Save as Template, then rename your document, go to templates, make sure in the templates file here and at the file format at the bottom here, make sure it is in Microsoft Word templates. So I'm going to rename this letter head and then click save. So now what happens is when you open your Word software, you'll come to the home page here. You can see we've got templates at the top here. If you go to more templates, you'll see you've got a section called personal. You can go to show more, if you've made lots of templates and here you'll see we've got a letter template which I saved earlier. The thumbnail's not brilliant but you can just about see the logo here and all that means is you just click on that and it will bring up your template. When you then go to save your template once you've made your alterations it will actually make you save it as a completely new document so you don't spoil the original. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has please like and subscribe and have a great day.